Race three for the Avon Tires National Formula Four Championship is about to go underway. Cars are in the assembly area. And race three, means a reverse grid. The A ball got picked out, so Niall Murray is starting in eighth place. I wouldn't put it past him to get a hat trick considering the form he's in. However, he's got to get past it. Luke Cooper, who is matching him for pace this weekend at Kirkus Town in his Swift Chassis Formula Ford. Then it's Michael Eastwell. He's in fantastic form as well. I wouldn't put it past him to uh, take the win here. Then Jordan Dempsey, very good driver, very competent. And then Neil McLennan. We saw at Brands Hatch that he does have the defending power to keep Niall behind him. Neil, about to get a third and final race underway. It's the reverse grid. We saw you come out on top at Brands Hatch. Can you do it here? Thank you very much. Um, Definitely going to go try and see, but uh, it's been very, very tough this weekend. Struggled a lot, but um, we're getting there. But, uh, well, no, we'll see. It's a bit wider here than uh, Brands Hatch, so uh, plenty of opportunities to overtake. You've got a lot of fast drivers behind you. Um, where are you going to be concentrating? You've got to be looking in your mirrors a lot, putting the car in the right places. Yeah, we'll definitely be looking in the mirrors a lot, but the main thing is concentrating on Rory and just try to get him. But we'll see. We'll see. Good luck. Thank you very much. So let's see how this last race pans out. Here's Scott Woodris with all the action. Race three of the weekend for the Avon Tires National Formula Fort is all ready to go. And the reverse grid draw sees Rory Smith and Matt Ram Garrido on the front row together. Foster and McLennan on row two from Dempsey, Eastwell, Cooper, Murray, Carter Williams and Hugo Bentley Ellis rounding off the top ten. With Nico Gruber and Jamie Thorburn and Alan Davidson all at the back of the grid looking to make their way through. The five second board is withdrawn, the red lights are up and for the final time in Northern Ireland we go racing in National Formula Fords. Cracking shots, the cars storm away from the line down towards Detta's dip for the first time. Everyone's got away cleanly and they turn through with a left-hander and it's actually I think Neil McLennan who leads the way, it is. So Neil McLennan leads the way, Smith darts out to take second place, down the outside goes back round Garrido and as for Noel Murray, he's been shuffled out and loses several places as they all turn into Colonial. So he's down towards the base of the top ten, not a great start for the double race winner. Down the outside goes Jonathan Brown, meanwhile. He's past Carter Williams, takes a look around the outside of Hugo Bentley Ellis, but can't make it stick. As Williams fights back on the run to the S's, Brown has the line and he keeps the place. So a great move in the early stages here of the opening lap. Out of the chicane, there's Noel Murray. Meanwhile, this is Luke Cooper, a few spots up. He's watching one of the Kevin Mills cars make an attack here, down towards the hairpin. This is on Joey Foster. That's Jordan Dempsey trying to look for fourth position. Cooper tries to sneak his nose up the inside. Can't get it done. Meanwhile, as McLennan leads, it's side by side for second place again because Smith has managed to maintain the place ahead of Round Garrido. Those two start on the front row together as they charge across this pit straight for the first time. The rest of the field goes streaming through. Good start for Alan Davidson. He's up several spots already from the back of the grid as they head down towards Colonial again. And for the second time, Round Garrido fancies that outside line. He can't make it stick as a lockup from Murray sees him sail around the outside of Carter Williams. So his next target's going to be Jonathan Brown. Meanwhile, Matt Round Garrido has made a good start. He's holding on to what is now third place ahead of Foster. And then we've got Jordan Dempsey. Followed by Luke Cooper and then the two Kevin Mills cars with Eastwell ahead of Hugo Bentley Ellis. There's Sebastian Job. He had a bit of a slow start in the second race, but he's right up there uh, in the mix in the leading pack. Field spreads its way down towards the hairpin for the second time. There's some movement going on in the lead. And I think there's been a change possibly. I may have spoken too soon because McLennan is there, but Rory Smith is really giving him the hurry up. So good battling going on here. As it looks to me, I think that's Jordan Dempsey has got past. That is Joey Foster he's got through. And the two, other two Kevin Mills spe uh, Spectrums are getting into the thick of it, battling with, surprise, surprise, Noel Murray. So he's managing to fight back as they head down towards Colonial on lap three. And there goes Ram Garrido. He's made the move stick up to second place. So the leader of the Northern Irish 4-4 four four Championship is proving exactly why he do, does just that. Now he puts the pressure on McLennan. Tries to force a mistake from the young Scotsman, but it's not easy to do. Everyone stacks up behind them. Dempsey fourth, then it's Foster, then Cooper, then it's Eastwell, followed by Hugo Bentley Ellis, and there is the charging Noel Murray. And look at the stack behind them. That's Jonathan Brown and Carter Williams, and incredibly, Alan Davidson. The amazing Alan Davidson's back in the mix as well after a cracking start from the back of the field. 
Here's Cooper down the ins outside of what looks like Joey Foster. Tries to get it stopped. And I think there's been some contact because Rory Smith has lost his nose section. And that's Neil McLennan struggling. He's lost several places. He's three abreast. He's got Jonathan Brown to his inside and Noel Murray to his outside. Meanwhile, it looks as if I think that's Joey Foster attacking to the outside of Rory Smith who has damage. Well, Raul Garrido leads, Foster's now up to second place, Rory Smith is third, or is he? Because up the inside goes Michael Eastwell into third position, and it's all kicked off in the space for a matter of seconds. Look at the lead group all stacked together, this is incredible. And it's only lap four. Into Fisherman's. Now the lead of complexion changes. It's now Foster who is in, I think, second place. Eastwell third, Smith is fourth. And then fifth place now for Jordan Dempsey. 6th is McLennan, 7th is Murray, 8th is Davidson, and ninth now is Luke Cooper. And all this is allowing Matt Brown Garrido to sail away in the distance. Back on board with Cooper. More battles going on in front as they head down towards the hairpin. That's McLennan, Murray, and Davidson. Davidson wants to pair them around the outside. He's past McLennan. Is he going for Cooper? Uh, for no, Murray? Oh, never mind about that because Cooper's off. Cooper's been hit, I think, by Hugo Bentley Ellis, and he holds his hand up in frustration. What on earth was that all about? Well, Luke Cooper, after what had been such a promising weekend, comes dead to a halt in the tie barrier. Meanwhile, back at Colonial, it's all action stations here. Smith is now under attack from Alan Davidson. Up the inside of Colonial, and he's through. He's done it. He's managed to get past. So Alan Davidson is amazing everyone here. Murray goes through. There goes McLaren almost making it past as well, but he locks up and tries to not make contact. What goodness me, what a race we've got here. It hasn't even hit halfway yet. This is unbelievable. Up through the chicane. It's now Smith with a damaged nose cone ahead of Neil McLennan, who was second at one point. And to no one's surprise, the safety car's been deployed again. And this has to be for Luke Cooper's stranded car. Now, all we saw is the fact that there was some contact. He had a big whack on the exit of the hairpin. And went straight to the scene of the accident. So they've all got to sort themselves out. There's Jamie Thorburn. But a chance to get our breath back again for the second time this weekend because I have to say, Kyrgyzstan really is a fantastic place to watch and to race forward and forwards. They do provide some fantastic entertainment and no wonder the national championship wanted to come back. All the drivers after their visit last year said they enjoyed the weekend so much and the quality of the racing and the circuit that they basically had to just demanded that the, that the BRSEC took them back. And in fact, they did. There's number 22, which is one of our pre-90 cars. Number 22 is Jonathan Brown. I'll be able to work. Oh, that's 122. Sorry, that's Ashley McCullough. So Ashley McCullough was in the, the mix there. So I managed to get that one wrong. But there is Jordan Dempsey. As we mentioned before, he's been racing mainly this year in the Chinese Formula 4 Championship. I've been winning races, doing very well. And it's good to see him back in what he can, I, I guess, count as his home race. Back here in fourth position. So he's behind Foster, who in turn is behind Eastwell, who in turn is behind race leader Matt Round Garrido. Everyone, as we normally see, weaving from side to side to keep temperature in the tyres and the brakes, keep the tyre pressures up so that when they do get racing again, they don't have a surprise when they hit Detta's dip at full pace. So Matt Round Garrido would dearly love to uh, solve a topsy-turvy weekend with a win into the pits goes Rory Smith so whatever damage he sustained earlier on which took off the front section of his nose cone has certainly manifested into something more because he's now headed for pit lane and as the rest of the field weaves its way down the straight behind the safety car gives us a chance to take stock here so Matt Round Garrido looking for what would only be his second race win of his national racing career because of course he did take a victory at Not Kill and he would love to take a second one at the circuit where he knows he can win here he knows he can be successful and Rory Smith there in the background has rejoined the circuit but it's gone straight through the pit lane so either that was a brief halt to check something over or possibly even a drive through I'm not 100% but he did dive for the pits there is surely one of the stars of the weekend, one of the unexpected stars of the weekend, Alan Davidson in car 61. Who'd have thought it? A pre-90 car up there with the post-89 and pro-class cars, and what a job he's doing as well. 
fully earning his status to be up there in the position he is. Fantastic job. And sixth is Niall Murray. Seventh looks to be Neil McLennan. Eighth is, might be Sebastian Job, in fact. So he's moved up well through the order. Ninth looks to be Jonathan Brown. And tenth looks to me as if that's possibly, it might even be Vincent J, I think. So he's had a cracking start. He's one of the few club and post-89 cars in the mix. There is the safety car. Lights to the blaze. So they're still recovering the stricken car of Luke Cooper in the tyre barriers. Of course, from here, the championship will then move on to the second half of the season. And we've got some interesting rounds coming up at locations like Castle Coombe and Alton Park and Croft, and then rounding off the season at Donington Park in October. All four of them, of course, back on the TCR UK support package. And they've enjoyed some fantastic coverage and even better racing. And of course, they're showing the Northern Irish guys, of course, of which Ireland as a whole, both the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland have a fantastic Formula Ford heritage. A lot of drivers come over, not just to race in the national championship in the in the in the UK, but also as well when they come over for the Formula Ford Festival and the Walter Hayes Trophy and to race in the Castle Coombe Championships. There's so much love for Formula Ford in Ireland. Some great drivers have come through the mix, and we've got some great young talents like Jonathan Brown, like Jordan Dempsey, all coming up through the ranks, and of course Niall Murray, all in there to make a name for themselves and for their homeland. So it's great to see that Ireland is still supporting Formula Ford as much as it ever did. And it's of course taking the fight to show us what the, the Emerald Isle can produce in terms of top class motorsport talent. So a lot of talented drivers in the field. There's Sebastian Job in the blue and green car. There's Jamie Thorburn. He's had a, another mixed weekend. Trouble free second race picking his way through the field. But of course had that contact with Jordan Dempsey in the first race so he was obviously on the comeback trail to make up some places Nico Groove is towards the back of that queue and Hugo Bentley Ellis is in there as well now the safety car is still out for another lap so we're going to possibly take I hope at least one more time around and we can't see the car being recovered but it looks to me as if hopefully they have cleared Luke Cooper's stricken Swift Cooper chassis from the tyre wall required a quick rebuild done so as quickly as they can that should hopefully mean that the lights on the safety car will extinguish and then we'll be back underway racing here at the third race of the weekend for the national formula fords so michael eastwell is doing everything he can to make sure that he can try and take as many points as possible from his championship rivals there he is in second place particularly of course Nile murray who's a couple of positions back and he really needs to try and finish ahead of him in order to try and keep himself in as much of a championship fight as possible because of course as well he hasn't even won a national formula ford race yet but this potentially could be his best chance yet the only problem is that man right there which is matt round garrido he knows this circuit like the back of his hand as we said he leads the northern foot northern irish formula ford championship so he knows the tricks of the trade around this circuit and kirkistown is certainly becoming a happy hunting ground for him now then, are the lights off on the safety car? I would suspect that they are. Yes, so safety car lights are out. That means that we will be going racing next time by. We'll get the green flag. And this now means that, as Nar Murray did in race one, Matt Ram Garrido becomes the safety car by de facto. He's got to choose exactly the right time to pull the pin and decide this is the right time to get racing. Wait for them to come into shot in a couple of moments' time to see where the safety car and the rest of the field is. Here come our leaders into the hairpin. Around Greedo thinks, right, come on you lot, let's get this race restarted. Out of the hairpin, onto the pit straight. Green flags in the air all around the circuit. And race three here at Kirkistown is back underway. Cross the start and finish line. And it's Round Garrido who leads it. Eastwell in second place, Foster up to third, Dempsey fourth. And what about Nile Murray? Can he make a couple more places in these next couple of laps? He's up to fifth position already. He's got past Alan Davidson. There's Nico Gruber in the 77 as they turn through Colonial. And up now towards Fisherman's for the first time on the restart. Eastwell closing under braking. Joey Foster keeping himself close in third place. Then it's Dempsey. Then in fifth position is Matt is Nile Murray. And he fancies a crack at Dempsey, his fellow Irishman. And also in there is Davidson and also Neil McLennan. So seventh of a lead 
on the restart as they come down the back straight. Sebastian Job is in eighth place, and already look at this. Dempsey going defensive in fourth place. He knows that Murray's going to attack. Likewise for Eastwell, who's swarming over the back of Matt Round Garrido. Look at Joey Foster down the outside, and there's contact. Foster spins. Murray goes across the grass, and he's into the tire wall. Oh, disaster for Noel Murray. He tries to reverse, but he's possibly out of the race, and there's more contact. Jonathan Brown and Carter Williams have come together, and it's absolute pandemonium. A carambolage down at the hairpin. Williams is out, so is Brown. And that is a disaster on the restart. Well, they say safety cars breed safety cars, but that, I'm afraid, is an end of the race for at least three drivers because, well, that's, that's astonishing. Well, the leaders are, are, are almost oblivious to this. They're going to come out of Fisherman's and look at the complexity of the race now. It's Round Garrido who leads, Eastwell second, Dempsey's up to third, Alan Davidson up to fourth again from Neil McLennan in fifth, and Sebastian Job is up to P6. It's his best ever result so far. Now then, yellow flags will fly at the hairpin. What is the situation going to be? No surprise, safety car is out for the second time in succession in this race. We've had hardly a lap under green flag conditions, and look at this. Alan Davidson hasn't realised that the safety car is out yet. He sees the flags and boards now, but he was going for third place on the exit of the hairpin on Peter Dempsey, uh, uh, <laughs> wrong Dempsey, Jordan Dempsey, rather than Peter. Peter, the Irishman that's been racing in America. So safety car uh, is deployed once again. Now that we're quite deep into the race, so hopefully if they can get those cars recovered quickly enough, we could have a quick sprint for the end of the third race, a possible dash for cash, if you like. So there is Jordan Dempsey in third place. How much would he love a podium on his Formula Ford return? And Kevin Mills, racing, I'm sure, would be delighted at getting two cars on the rostrum if Eastwell and Dempsey can do so. They could even go for the win here, of course, if Eastwell can find a way around Matt Brown Garrido. But of course, we have to talk about as well the fact that Nar Murray was an innocent victim in that. There was contact towards the fourth or fifth position in the field Foster went around and that left Nile Murray the innocent victim with nowhere to go now the recovery vehicle is just heading out onto track we've got one of the, the snatch vehicles in there as well both of the drivers involved in that incident at the hairpin there which is Carter Williams and Jonathan Brown we understand are okay of course they'll at least go to the medical centre to double check that there's nothing untoward which isn't overly obvious initially but of course if any driver involved in an accident will always get sent to the medical centre purely as a precaution at the very least because of course you can never be too um, lax about um, driver safety so they will have gone off to do that but of course they'll be lamenting what could have been a much better result but it was all getting very cl clust uh, clustered up at the hairpin there was about seven or eight cars the top eight all together they all came uh, into the hairpin at once and someone came off worse, and one of the leading cars that did was Joey Foster. And as we saw, Niall Murray was simply left with absolutely nowhere to go, and a try as he might, couldn't get himself free, and I'm afraid that potentially he's damaged the car further, which means that he gets a DNF, and that's very rare, because the only other time he hasn't finished a race was back at Knock Hill, and that was with rear suspension problems. So Matt Ram Garrido, for the second time, leads the cars around behind the safety car and I'm not sure if we're going to get a restart or if it will it'll be a simple one lap dash to the flag safety car is still on circuit lights haven't gone out just yet so they're still working down at the hairpin to recover the stricken cars of Carter Williams and Jonathan Brown and look at some of the results in there Alan Davidson again back up in fourth place and then we have fifth for Jordan Dempsey, there is the two cars that are basically tangled together down at the hairpin. Through comes the safety car with the leaders. Second place for Michael Eastwell, third for Jordan Dempsey, fourth, as we said, for Davidson, fifth for Neil McLennan, and sixth. And the chequered flag is being waved, and that only means one thing behind the safety car, there's no overtaking. So Matt Round Garrido does indeed win race three here at Kirkistown. It finishes under safety car. It's a shame, but it was a necessity. And here is the confirmation of the final result from race three. Matt Rangarito wins from Michael Eastwell and Jordan Dempsey. Alan Davidson, a superb fourth from McLennan. Job, Gruber, Nicky Gibson, David MacArthur and Vincent Jay rounding out the top ten of a crazy race three here at Kirkistown. What a weekend and what a race.
Mark, it's been an interesting weekend for you. So to finish it off with a win, you've got to be happy. Well done. Yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon. Like you said earlier, um, in race two, I came back through from the back and uh, came seventh. And then uh, from there, thanks to the reverse grid, started second, got to the lead. And then, to be honest, it was a bit of a procession into a safety car, which was a bit unfortunate. We would have rather had a proper race, but nevertheless, a win's a win and you've got to take it. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. There's a lot of... Uh... Four and fours behind you, battling away. Um, unfortunately, uh, some of them went out, which is why the uh, race got caught short. Um, but you've got to keep your head down and concentrate and just uh, re drive your own race. Yeah, 100%. You know, um, a lot of the boys behind me, unfortunately for them, are damaged and uh, it's going to be an expensive weekend for them boys. But uh, for me, my job was just trying to build on my lead. And you know, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's helped me here this weekend, uh, mainly uh, my team, uh, Team Dolan. I'd like to thank my sponsor, XL Labels, and my dad, and everyone in the team, yeah. Well done. Thank you very much. Michael, the uh, reverse grid uh, worked for you, really. Uh, second place, your best result weekend. Well done. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's um, it's been a really good weekend for us. And I know I've said this twice before, but a massive thanks to the Kevin Mills Racing team and everyone for all the support. Uh, it's been a really sol solid weekend for us. Um, so, yeah. One, one more would have been nice. I could see, you know, there was we had the pace in the car and that to, to challenge for the win. And um, but I, hey, I'm I'm happy we started sixth, finished second. Jordan, busy race. Come away with it from pod with the podium. You've got to be happy. Um, yeah, I'm delighted. A bit, I'm a bit disappointed because I knew the Kevin Mills Spectrum was capable of the win there, but in the end, it just wasn't enough laps. It wasn't wasn't really much of a race because the same people were crashing every corner. So. Um, I was happy enough. I think keeping it on the black stuff was the main thing there. And then, thanks to thanks to the team, thanks to Motorsport Ireland, Sport Ireland, Digital Planet, all these people that got me here. It's just a bit of mileage before I head back to China now, and hopefully that'll go well now. Well, for now, go and enjoy it. Well done. Thank you.